X-Men 97 reaches historic approval ratings from critics and the public on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, for those who don't know what Rotten Tomatoes is, it's basically a portal where critics and the public go there and give their score. And it's widely accepted. Many people use it, so it's a badge of quality, both positive and negative, when it gets the Rotten Tomato. Let's react to the news, and then I'll explain why all this happened. X-Men 97 has just hit a historic mark on Rotten Tomatoes. The Disney Plus animation has become the highest rated project in Marvel Studios history, including both movies and series. So, for example, it surpassed Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War, it overtook Avengers Endgame, overtook Iron Man, surpassed everything with an impressive, it's an impressive approval rate of 100%. 100% of 73 reviews from specialized critics and 95% approval from the public, like 100%. Just imagine 73 critics watched it and all 73 said it's 100% allegory, 100% fantasy, 100% fear, 100% harmony. You know what I'm saying? It's like a samba school. So, man, those guys gave 100% in everything. This has never happened. And the audience. Damn, for God's sake, it must be. Only here, it didn't score 100% because DC Nauta went there, Batman fans went there. You know how upset they are that DC's animations aren't doing well. And I love DC, okay. In fact, DC produces the best animations. But let's face it, the X-Men nailed it. Ended last week, the series recorded 3.5 million views in the first few days. The success was so huge that the second season, which will use a major part of the story planned by showrunner Bill DeMaio, was let go. For God's sake, Kevin Feige, hire the guy to maintain the winning team. Don't change anything. It was Bill DeMeo who planned it. He was the one who came up with the idea for the first season. He already planned the, the second season is ready, and they've mentioned there'll likely be five seasons, so the quality won't decline with the second. But starting from the third, if they don't hire the guy back, then I can't say for sure. Remember, obviously it's a team that did everything. It's a team that put in the work, but they suddenly let go of someone who was good which messed things up. For example, James Gunn messed up. The controversies surrounding his past tweets were intense, and Marvel brought him back. And Disney rehired him. Man, it's highly unlikely that Bill DeMeo would have done something so extreme because James Gunn's tweets, for anyone who doesn't know, you can check, were really low level when he was younger, but they were really low level, and he was still hired. So get Bill DeMaio again. Remember, the success of X-Men 97 shot up the anticipation for the live-action X-Men film, which has already been announced and has an appointed writer. Comment below, comment below, if you think the second season will also be hit. But if with Bill DeMaio's dismissal, the third season runs a high risk of declining in quality. If they don't hire the guy again, I would hire him for both the animation and perhaps as the X-Men movies director, or at least someone who will help with the scripts. Comment below, I want to know.